what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Stable Talk. This is episode 10. We have the men's basketball with us today. We have Evan and Mikhail, uh, both guards. Evan's a senior. Mikhail is a junior transfer. If you guys just want to tell us about, like, your hometowns, your majors, um, maybe how you came to Stevenson, et cetera, whatever you want to tell us. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go first. So I'm from Middletown, Maryland. It's kind of a small uh, two-way high school, kind of, like, out in the country in Western Maryland, but uh, I'm also an interdisciplinary study major. I originally was here for accounting, but recently found interest in physical therapy. So I switched and did biology and accounting so I can go to PT school after I graduate. And I came to Stevenson after Coach Smith and Coach Stewart came to bat, like my basketball practices and my basketball games. And I came, loved the school, loved the, uh, like where it is in relation to like where I live. So it was like kind of a perfect fit for what I wanted for a college experience. But that's what's up. Nice story. Um, for me, I'm originally from Aurora, Colorado. Um, and my family and I actually moved to Delaware, Middletown, Delaware, a couple years ago. And that's where I did uh, junior college in uh, Northeast Maryland, uh, Cecil College. I um, was there for two years. Uh, my major is uh, communications broadcasting. And um, how I got to, to Stevenson, basically just through the recruiting process, seeing Coach Stu and Coach Jeff coming through my practices and, and my games as well and stuff. And they just, I, I unfortunately didn't get to take a, an official visit here due to COVID and everything. But uh, one day I did come up uh, with my family and just kind of walked around campus and stuff like that and just assumed that the buildings inside were really nice as well. And uh, it, it convinced me to, to commit here. You do video and stuff, or you just want to do like broadcasting? Uh, honestly, I want to be in front of the camera, so that's why I'm, you know, I'm taking a lot of public speaking and mm -hmm. um, communication leadership classes and all that type of stuff. Like announcing and stuff, or exactly, you, exactly. You know, and like, oh, I mean, I guess honestly, like the the dream job would be to you know work for one of the large uh, uh, sports networks, such as you know mm -hmm. ESPN and stuff like that. Nice, nice. big goals. Um, so. I'm just going to hop into like some questions, random <laughs> questions. Who was your guys' favorite NBA player growing up? Uh, my favorite was LeBron. He's just the beast. It was always fun to watch him play because he'd always do something special whenever you watched him. So that was my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite was probably definitely Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. Um, the way he handles the ball and the way, you know, he just – brings excitement to the game and stuff and you never know what he's going to do next so he coming back he was hurt right or was he what? was that kd or no they were both hurt last yeah, year they right? were both hurt yeah yeah so hopefully they come back um better than ever and stuff and um, he can play more than he did last year hopefully yeah did you guys always think that basketball was going to be the sport you'd end up playing in college or did you ever wish you were good at a different sport or anything or was it always yeah. basketball uh, originally, I thought I was going to either play baseball or soccer in college because those were like the two I was just naturally like better at. I mean, I played. You were a state champ in baseball, right? I think your bio said something about that. Yeah, state championship baseball and two-time state champ for soccer in high school. So I was originally thinking I was going to do something with that, but I just I was just naturally good at those, and then basketball is like the one I actually had to work on. So I enjoyed yeah. that more. If that makes sense. I mean, I, at one point, I definitely thought that I was going to play ball in college, football or basketball in college. You know, I enjoyed football when I was younger. Um, what hey, position? I, guess. I was a, a wide receiver, a wide receiver okay. and a cornerback and stuff, right? So I, I thought, you know, I could be, I felt like I could have been good at it, but I just wasn't as dedicated as I was to basketball and stuff. And let alone, I loved going to basketball practice. So I just I felt com more comfortable with basketball. Yeah. Are there any other sports or talents that you guys are good at? Any secret talents? Uh, I know Kale's good at dancing. Kale can dance. <laughs> you really? Are you on TikTok? I'm, you, uh, you TikTok I'm, I'm all right. I, mean, it's, right it's cool. I don't really, I don't really show up much. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I feel like I got, I got some moves here and there. <laughs> uh, maybe after a post dub, if you're dancing on the court, I'll try yeah. to get some clips one day. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to try to quiz like your Stevenson and basketball knowledge. Um, might be like, I don't know, Evan might know some of these. Mikhail, you might not know a few of the first ones, but we'll give it a whirl. Um, do either of you know or at least have a guess 
the record for points in a single game. Can I have a? Can I say who I think it might be? Sure. Yeah. Colby. For the yeah. Three yeah, you got the name. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Is it forty six or something? Am I forty eight. Forty eight. That's pretty good. Close. He he broke a second record that game. He had thirteen threes in a game that yeah. same day. That's insane. What's yeah. What does what does uh, Steph have? Probably like fifteen. I think Steph's at thirteen. I think he has the NBA record at thirteen. Yeah, he has he has it like twice. Like well, then yeah. dang, he tried he tied the NBA record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how many times in school history has the team shot ten or more free throws and made every single one? I'm gonna say not a lot. <laughs> that's that's so accurate. That's accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> Once. Yeah. yeah. Once you're killing it. <laughs> there um, was there was a game I was looking. It's in 2002. I think, yeah, there was one Evans freshman year where they went like 19 out of 20. So I don't know who missed that one shot, but <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Evan, you should remember this one. Most points as a team, like in as a game, like most points as a team in one game. In a single game. Yeah. In school history. I'll give you a hint. It was Evan's freshman year. Was it against Elizabethtown? Uh, no. Oh, man. Penn State know. Berks. Very uh, similar schools. 107, 109, something like that. I don't remember. 113. 113, yeah. All right, and then we'll get Michaela on here on the last one. Yeah, hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> more like, You're just like, let him answer it all. Hey, no, I'm good. <laughs> Um, top three scoring games in NBA history. I feel like you should both get one and two really easily. Well, I I, th- I know what one is, and I know what two is. Is it like the scoring games, like points, yeah, a person scoring or like team games, like person, team? person, like Will Kobe, oh, yeah, hundred eighty one, and then was it was it Devin Booker? Yeah, 72. Is it him? No, it was Wilt again. Wilt again? He has the oh third record, too. 78. <laughs> I think so, that's like, the top, I was looking really at bad. it, and yeah, I was looking at it, and it was like Wilt, Kobe, and then it was literally like Wilt, 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 and then like all the LeBrons and Devons, <laughs> like with like the 70s, 60s. That was pretty good trivia. Good job, yeah, Devin. Like three for four, something like that. Yeah. Thank um. You. Next, do you guys have any stories or memories that you want to share about Coach Jeff or Coach Stewart? I have one memory from sophomore year. We were in a scrimmage, and, like, I was used to – coach. like, I've seen Coach Stewart get mad, like, during a game or anything, but never really during a scrimmage. Mm-hmm. And I remember he would got – I was just coming off soccer season, so I wasn't playing. Like, I don't think I was playing in the game, but I was, like, on, like, the bench, like, and Coach Stewart was getting, like, going off on this one ref. And, like, he got kicked out of the scrimmage, which is, like, I think never happened. Like, he was really on the ref. And it might have been, like, the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, I think this is kind of, like, a simple one, actually. Like, we were in the weight room. And I have been I don't know if you saw this, but um, we were in the weight room getting ready. We were with uh, Coach P and stuff, right? And Worm, another one of our teammates, mm-hmm. uh, you know, everybody wants to get hyped, get ready for for lift and stuff. And he starts dancing. And then Coach Stu comes behind him <laughs> in the mirror and starts, like, mimicking him and trying to dance. But, like, it was completely terrible. And it was like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> what, oh, my God, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was there for that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it looked, it looked a little painful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to play Would You Rather. So right. first one, would you rather your life be made a musical or or like a life documentary? I think definitely a documentary. Yeah. I, I would do a documentary. <laughs> For sure. I, I don't know what you can make my life out of a musical. <laughs> I don't really know what it would start with. Like what would it look like? Like high school musical or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, All right, I, what I about would you rather the next Stevenson basketball season be a musical or a documentary? <laughs> I think with this group of guys, we can make it a musical. All the stuff, for real. Yeah. Got, Throwing like, some awesome. of Coach Stewart's uh, dancing skills. Yeah, him and Cam. Sure. You'd have a musical. 
<laughs> for sure. I think I think I'm good with the musical too. Honestly, I think that would be hilarious. I think that would be funny. Okay, would you rather have thirty butterflies instantly appear from nowhere every time you sneeze, or one very angry squirrel appear from nowhere every time you call? So either thirty butterflies when you sneeze, or a very angry squirrel when you call. <laughs> How dangerous is an angry squirrel? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what threat does that pose to me if I, if I pick that one? Um, I would probably pick a good squirrel. luck. Is it, a, what's what, is it a squirrel in Ice Age that always wants the one nut? Or what animal is that? Is that I a squirrel? Think it's a squirrel, right? So, picture a... that angry squirrel trying to get the <laughs> nut, I guess. Um, I think I sneeze more than I cough, so I'd rather just. That's true. I feel like I can hold in a call. I yeah. feel like it would be cool if 30 butterflies popped up anyway, right? I was about to say, like, I mean, I, I sneeze here and there. It's not like something, anything crazy, but like sneezing and seeing all these butterflies, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would you rather get two? Well, all right. It is the holiday season. It is the yeah. holiday season. Would you rather have like two Thanksgivings a year or two Christmases a year? Oh, definitely two Christmases. That's the best holiday for sure. Yeah. But you'd have to buy presents twice too. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I get. I'm okay the, with that <laughs> I mean, Christmas. What would you like, guys want moment. your second Christmas to be? When? Yeah, I take that instead of like Easter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like an I'll Easter take, time. Definitely, definitely, maybe one like sometime during the summer. For sure. Yeah, like, like usually some of there's nothing really going on. So having a Christmas in the winter and then having something in the summer to look forward to as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Would you rather be an, an airbender, a firebender, a waterbender, or an earthbender? <laughs> Definitely a waterbender. Water, water like rules everything. That's seven percent of the world right there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I'll be water too. Oh, wait, where did you go? <laughs> Cut off. <laughs> he just texted me. He said, "Computer crash. I'm coming back." LOL. <laughs> okay, we'll wait for him. <laughs> we'll wait for him. But next, we're doing rapid fire questions. Ooh. So, like as soon as, like I say, the question, like you guys are gonna have to, like, don't even think about it. Just immediately answer. All right. <laughs> At the same time. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, they're like, yeah, we'll be waterbenders, and then your box is like, <laughs> flew out. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're on to rapid fire questions. I'm just going to read them for you guys and then immediately answer. Should we do the timer still? Yeah, you want me to do it? The timer? Mm hmm. Okay. 32 minutes, two minutes if there's less questions. Yeah. Um, I put less questions, so do a minute and a half. Okay. All right. Okay, Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. When are you your most inspired? Most inspired in the morning. I'd say in the morning. Okay. Definitely at night. What is your favorite board game? Uno. I don't even think it's a board game. That's a card game. A card game, <laughs> yeah. board game, same yeah. thing. Uh, a game called Azul. Okay. What's your favorite dessert? Uh, something called dirge, like just yogurt and. Oh shop. yes, that's the best. Ice cream cake. If you could have unlimited supply of only one thing, only what would it be? Money. Milk. <laughs> what? Milk? Milk. Okay. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite sports movie? Remember the Titans. Um, Waterboy. <laughs> if you won a million dollars, what would be the first thing that you would buy? Uh... I have no idea. I really don't know how, what I would buy. <laughs> Honestly, on some selfish stuff, probably I'd buy a lot of shoes. <laughs> Are you a morning, a noontime, or a night person? Definitely morning. Definitely night. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you want to retire? North Carolina. Colorado. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, lifting. <laughs> I do care with like that one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just say uh, writing. Okay. What is one food you never be able to give up? Chicken. 
cereal. Same. Chicken and cereal for me. That's it. You guys yeah, I it. couldn't give up either. That was awesome. <laughs> Do you miss um, Colorado? I, I do. I, de I definitely have like friends and, um, you know, people I consider brothers I pretty much grew up with and stuff like that still there and I'm still in contact mm -hmm. with them. And actually every summer I go down to Colorado for a week or two to spend time with them. So I'm just going to ask if you What's miss your... the people or the views more. Like I'm sure those mountains just like every day are just for like, sure. It, it's, it's definitely pretty for sure. But like people always ask to like, oh, have you ever skied or snowboarded? It's like I've never never even come close to any of that really? so it's, it's really yeah i have no idea how to do it so, you, i'm sure you've done like i don't so know what's your favorite like, like colorado activity Colorado activity um to be honest with like this is i'm really i was really boring like <laughs> honestly like the friends that i hung out with all all we would do is just you know either there's a place called uh, southlands Right. And it's like basically like an outdoor strip mall. And we would always just walk that and just, you know, get food, go into stores. And then at the end of it, it was like a, a movie theater and stuff. So we would go catch movies and stuff. And then other than that, we were either at somebody's house playing 2K or we were in the gym. And that's, you know, yeah. pretty much. But hiking, though, don't stop. Hiking have is you ever been? I'm assuming, I don't know, maybe I'm just assuming this, but like, have you ever been to like one of the hot springs? I haven't. Uh, you haven't? <laughs> I have I, when I well, I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you like, like all these Colorado <laughs> for, sure, for sure like I was I was living in Colorado for like 14 15 years and didn't touch any of those oh but, my gosh. <laughs> but like no nah, it's it's definitely cool like I said too before like the you, we got feel, into hiking a lot too and hiking is is amazing there for sure do you feel the like oxygen or like what is it that people can't play at yeah, Denver elevation yeah elevation. yes for sure like when I first moved here um, I was like, man, I can run for days. Like, I was like, man, I'm in the best shape of my life, but it was really That's just cool. that elevation. I'm sure when I go back, because it's been a couple of years since I've been there due to COVID and stuff, um, I'm sure I'm going to really feel it. What's the What's the board game that you said? What game is that? Azul. It's, yeah, Azul. So it's like, I don't. My mom like got it for us uh, during like Christmas and stuff. Like, kind of like a family like gift, and it's like. There's like different puzzle pieces and stuff. How do I spell it if I want to Google the box? A, I think it's A-Z-U-L. All right. And like, basically like there's these different pieces and you have to like stack them up in a mm -hmm. pattern type form. And it's like really strategic and stuff. And you have to go based off of what other people are doing on their board as well. And it's like, there's so many rules and like so many um, <laughs> like things that you have to like think about and mm -hmm. all at the same time. And to be honest, this looks crazy. It's honestly probably not even my favorite board game. That's just the first thing that came up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know. Bro, this looks like Monopoly and Connect Four at the same time or it's something. It's insane. It's insane. I searched yeah. it at first and it was giving me Azul Airlines stock. So I was like, I don't think that's. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's definitely like my mom had to go like YouTube it and like see like what I like, actually had to play because the direction didn't help at all. Mm hmm. Okay, so last question. I don't know why, why Jay wrote this. You can say it. Oh, I was just, I was, I wrote down, Evan, <laughs> I was the team holding up without Coach Ethan. I'm sure that was a hit. He was the glue. He was the glue. <laughs> he, was, he was the glue that held our office together, too. Definitely Coach e. We miss him. All, like, all the returners definitely miss Coach e and stuff, so. We all miss Coach e a little, but shout out Coach E. Shout out Coach e. If he hasn't watched this, and we're really disappointed. <laughs> Where did he get his coach thing at? I saw the posts, but I don't remember. Um, Whittier, Whittier College or something like that in like Washington. I don't remember the school. I remember seeing like he got hired and everything for it, but I don't remember what the school. I think it's. Were. I think it's Whittier. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Ethan. I, <laughs> I think that's what it is. I texted him the other day. He left me on red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what what uh, did you text them? Um, actually, I was trying to get to their practice. So I was like, "Yo, do you have Coach Jeff's number?" But then I said, "Congrats!" <laughs> He's like, "It's not my problem." <laughs> and I was like, "Congrats on getting hired, by the way." And he like opened both of them and didn't respond to either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Coach Coach, he's ruthless. I'm sure he was busy. He is always <laughs> staying busy. But he still hasn't replied to you, has he? Nope, nope. Still a little hurt. Still a little. He's hurt. gonna watch this and then host. He's gonna reply. We always finish with like um, an inspirational quote or like a fun fact. 
or something like that. Do you guys yeah, have any? Yeah, have like or a shout lot. out, a shout out to like mom and dad or something. <laughs> <laughs> <Whatever> you want. <laughs> I think do you, either you have cool. like a favorite quote? I'm trying to think of something Stu would say, but I can't remember. It's something he says, but I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Coach Stu always says, you guys are as soft as pond water. Still All not right. thing to this day. but that's I, don't know what, I don't think I know what that means either. I don't think any of us do. Um, uh, oh. Is that it? Yeah, thank that's you. That's it, Chief. Uh, All right. Appreciate it. Thanks for doing this. Stay safe. Have a good yeah, Thanksgiving. Well. Yeah, you too. Thank Happy you. Happy holidays and mask up. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Go Mustangs. Uh, Bye. Yeah.